Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wave Slam reviewer, and I'm here to review Malignant. And this is a new horror film, story, and directed by James Wan, and written by Akela Cooper, and this film is in theaters and on HBO Max. And this new horror film focuses on a woman named Madison, played by Annabelle Wallace, who has an abusive relationship, and something triggers these strange dreams, these visions of brutal murders, that she feels like she's there, she's right there with it. And it turns out that it's a much more darker reality of what's actually going on here. Which, first off, this film is off the wall. This is crazy. There's definitely some like cheesy campiness to it, channeling some of the similar kinds of feels to a lot of like Dario Argento and other Giallo horror films. And James Wan just is in full-blown form here. It feels like Warner Brothers has gotten to the point where it's like, you gave us The Conjuring, do what you like. And he made Malignant, and this is nuts. There's ridiculous over-the-top gore. Like, there's parts. There's one particular sequence in a police station where there's limbs flying, flips happening, all kinds of craziness. And this film balances, like, creepy supernatural horror with, like, things in shadows and uses of light. And James Wan is a fantastic director and really knows how to direct horror. He builds tension. There's a suspense there. You think you see something, you see something, light comes on, is it there? And a lot of these feel tired at this point, but Wan is able to do it in a refreshing and new kind of way and you definitely see a lot of James Wanisms like overhead shots of like these spaces and these long tracking shots and these long takes and which really help with some of the action in the film which yes there's action here there's like police foot chases there's crazy slasher over the top action sequences and it's balancing that with also the convention of like a supernatural horror film where it's just like something creeping in the night, something spooky, something seems to be there, light comes on, nothing there, light goes out, is there something there? And you're balancing all those things and James Wan does it in such a great way. And you have Annabelle Wallace who's at the center here who really challenges that horror lead. I don't think she ever like reaches, say, you know, Tony Collette or Florence Pugh or Elizabeth Moss or even um, Rachel Hall, Ida, Rebecca Hall for like the Night House, like those performances that are like, these are fantastic emotional acting performances. I think Annabelle Wallace does a really fine job of channeling the fear, the suspense, the tension. It's there and you can feel it with her. And there's a physicality about her performance that really works. The twists and turns in this film and what's actually going on is so ridiculous, but it works because the film sets that tone. There's something strange and weird and campy about this movie, and this film is unabashedly right there with it, being like, yes, this is crazy, this is ridiculous, have some fun with it, but also be scared. Now, the film from like a narrative standpoint you know, it builds up to the twists, there's, you know, the cops are on the job, and yada yada yada. There's a lot of narrative cliches and tropes that the film really leans on, and I don't know if I ever felt truly emotionally connected to the characters. The acting is on a level where it's like, I do at least a little bit, but like, not something like deep-seated emotional connection here. So, in the end, I had such a an amazing ride watching this movie with all of the genre trappings that they could throw in here. There's one particular sequence with body horror that is absolutely grotesque. It's just like, oh, oh my god. But it, all of it, Juan's able to balance all these different aspects of horror and thriller and tension into this film to give such an amazing fun thrill ride. You, I was okay with not feeling completely emotionally attached to the film because I just felt like I was on this amazing ride. I didn't want to get off. So, no, this is, I don't think this is like 
great top tier horror, but this is amazing return to horror for James Wan, and I can't wait to see what other crazy projects that he has, you know, besides like the next Aquaman movie. But those are my thoughts on Malignant. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.